How you doing? This is George. And the wife hesitates like that, at least on my screen. Anyway, this came in too late for Halloween, but it's still cool. I want to show everybody. This is a little uh, LED Halloween decoration. So that'll be on my wall all year round because we love Halloween. I got a space for it in the living room. And I want to thank Mark Mastriani and Nixon R for subscribing to my channel. Welcome aboard. And let me turn the light on here so I don't freak out YouTube trying to find out, figure out why it's so dark. And uh, I thank you for subscribing and tell your friends if you like my videos. Well, uh, one other thing, my back is still hurting right here, but nothing like it was. I went and got my mail today and uh, got some soup mugs and a new electric blanket. And um, yesterday I got some very strange uh, microwave bowls. Apparently I ordered two sets of bowls, but that's okay. I can use them for storage or something. And uh, got a bunch of coffee in, so I'm good for that. Kathy drank all the instant coffee, so I wasn't very happy about that. Opened the can, and it's empty. She left me with no instant coffee, so it's a good thing I had extra coffee. And I got a beef log and uh, my stolen, which I get every year at the holiday time. Being German, we love stolen. So I'm reading the news. And I'm lying on the heating pad or the ice pack. Uh, the heating pad makes me able to sleep, but the ice pack is supposed to relieve the swelling in the muscles, and it didn't seem to do much good. It just dulled it. So I don't know. If it, I hope this heals by next week. But anyway, I'm reading the news, and there's a story. Now, they inspected my apartment yesterday morning. I was up from 4 to around 11, cleaning, gathering up laundry, throwing out a ton of paperwork and paper bags and all kinds of stuff, and cleaning up the mess that Kathy left because she just, her idea of taking stuff is throwing it on the floor, even though there's a trash can next to the bed. That really annoyed the hell out of me. But it's Kathy, what can I say? So she doesn't live with me anymore. She just came over to help and then complained that I didn't do anything for three days because my back was killing me and I was screaming every time I moved. So I finally rid of the riot act the other day. But anyway, they inspected the bed bugs. I don't have any bed bugs. And maybe it's because I sprinkle this stuff on the carpet for fleas and it kills roaches, and for all I know, it kills bed bugs because there's never been any bed bugs. But in Detroit, there are bed bugs. Um, this woman had them for a year, and she was formerly homeless. She was placed in the apartment building she lived in by the traveler's aid, and a survey recently said. Detroiters don't find much vermin. Now, there's animal vermin, there's bug vermin, there's human vermin. So who knows what kind of vermin the survey was asking about. But around January of this year, she began to notice markings in her body. She thought she was breaking out, and then she noticed what looked like bed bugs. Now, I don't know how she knows what bed bugs look like. Until I looked it up in the web, I never saw any. But I nominate this woman and another woman for... What the book I have, there's two books, the Darwin Awards, people whose loss would mean uh, an improvement of gene pool. This woman goes and she calls Traveler's Aid. They send out an exterminator. And the marks multiply on her and there's more bed bugs. So they spray or did whatever they do for bed bugs. Then the apartment, the Ramblewood, tried to exterminate. That didn't seem to work either, according to this lady. The bed bugs would disappear, then reappear. And she asked the manager, can I be moved to another unit? What was told wasn't available. She ran a steam machine on her sheets. 
The insects would crawl onto the ceiling and drop down on her. She felt like she was in a horror movie with these things laying eggs around my bed, she said. The bed bugs wouldn't leave her body. She was taking twice daily baths. Now, I guess they followed her in the bathroom. I don't know. That's kind of weird. So, Monday, on advice from a neighbor, she decides to heat the bugs out. And I read on a site about bed bugs, you don't turn up the heat by yourself because it can do it exactly what this woman had happen. So she cranks the oven up to full. And her stove. She slept in her car Monday night and stayed out of the apartment for 24 hours. And this woman said, a uh, friend said she believed she was under attack. She goes back in about 2 o'clock. She douses herself for rubbing alcohol. And she went to Walgreens and bought 20 bottles of rubbing alcohol. Now, one of the things about rubbing alcohol is unless you can't read, and I don't know if this woman could read or not, there's a label. And on the label it says, Flammable. Avoid sources of ignition. Do not use around open flames. And it's got a code on it that you see on trucks when they carry hazardous and flammable materials. And it's 140 in a diamond shape. A diamond shape cube. So, you know, you don't take isopropyl alcohol and put it around. The fumes can ignite. So, she pours the alcohol on the floor. But first she walked into the, into the apartment and it was like the towering inferno of heat. The walls were roasting. The floor was roasting. The walls were hot to the touch. So she pours alcohol on the floor one area at a time. And she poured a whole bottle out, started to go get another bottle, and saw the floor around her was on fire. It is where she was standing. Her boots were on fire, then she caught fire. So she runs out and screams for the fire department. And later on in an interview at Fox News Local, she says she tried to get the extinguisher. Well, that didn't work a hell of a lot of good. So then she runs back in and starts banging on the door to all her neighbors, warning them about the fire. She fell to the ground. A neighbor and another person pulled her away. She was taken to the hospital. In the meantime... 60 firemen show up, nine trucks, the floor's on fire, the walls are on fire, the roof burst in the fire. There's a picture on the, on the website. The fire jumps down the lawn on the third floor, from the third floor to the first floor and onto the lawn. 48 apartments, and there's a picture on the site where the whole building... It's just caved in. It looks like something from Germany during the war where it was bombed. There's just a shell. So 48 apartments close to Thanksgiving of people are now homeless because this woman's an idiot. And she could have gone to some authority. She could have gone to the city, the county, whatever, and said, hey, I got big bugs running like the freeway. But did she do that? No. And then I find another story from Kentucky two years ago. This woman has bed bugs. She's in an apartment building. She takes isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, pours it on her couch like she's marinating a roast. And then she's smoking a cigarette and the cigarette falls out of her mouth and foosh! The couch goes up in flames, then the walls, then the floor, then the ceiling, then the roof. And guess what? The entire apartment building burns down again. So now we got these accidental arsonists who are burning down apartment buildings because of bed bugs. 
And one really gross thing I read, that two-thirds of the motels and hotels in northern Kentucky are infested with bedbugs in a study. A high schools infested with them, two, two elementary schools infested with them, and recently in New York, they were going to hold the Tony Awards in this theater, this movie theater. They had to evacuate the movie theater and move to another theater. Why? The whole theater was full of bedbugs. These things seem to be everywhere. So, Tuesday or Wednesday, she does an interview with Fox, and she's crying. I wish I'd go back. I wish I could start over. And they're concerned that she's uh, going to commit suicide because she's so despondent of all this. But I'm going, where is the common sense with these two women? Ha don't they know anything about this stuff that it will burn? I mean, you can get a bottle of booze and it will burn. You see these movies where the guy takes the roast or the baked Alaska or whatever the hell, or the cherries flambe, I don't know. And he takes the brandy and he goes, whoo, and the thing goes, whoosh, and it puts up a huge flame. So these two women have to be two of the dumbest women in America. This woman, to you, if you wind up in her building... This is Sherry Young, and she lived a year in fear of bedbugs. Well, apparently that would have been last year in January. And another thing, this woman, they said, a museum said she was an, the director of the Museum of New Art in Detroit, as opposed to the director of Museum of Old Art in Detroit, I guess. She's a great booster for Detroit and for Detroit artists, said Jeff Borgo. It's an unfortunate accent. Well, I don't know about this artist, but my dad painted. He dabbled. And when he was done with his brushes, he soaked them in per turpentine or paint thinner or alcohol. All of that stuff is flammable. I don't know what kind of artist this woman is, but if you have brushes of linseed oil based paint or, or even water based paint you, you still you're gonna soak the brushes because they harden you paint a wall the brush or the roller is gonna harden so you need something to, to loosen the paint so you don't have have to throw the paintbrush or the roller away I just don't understand people like this they don't have any common sense. They don't go to the management or to somebody and say, I got a, a bed bug infestation. So burn, two women burned down their buildings to get rid of the bed bugs. And we've seen other stories. Women burns down house to get rid of a, one spider. I mean, are these people so... Uh, freaked out they can't even think logically i just don't get it well anyway that's that's the big story of the day for me and uh i hope for your sake none of you ever wind up living in the same building with these two women all right i will catch you later i hope you had a great week hope you enjoyed your football and i'm looking forward to this weekend the steelers play the raiders that ought to be fun I met a Raiders fan in the post office. He said it's going to be a tough game. And we talked about the Raiders and the A's. And he wants the A's to go to San Jose, and so do a lot of the fans. So we'll see what happens with that. Haven't put away my Halloween stuff because I uh, spent day cleaning and just tired. All right. Have a great evening. I'll catch you next time. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye for now.